It strips away lyrics of the song of the woman of my land, leaving only a fading tune echoing the song. He sang in the fallen fields about their lives, songs of how they plowed the terrain of the mindscape, or memories of lyrics lost in the vast void of time. In those days when a song beheld their lives, when servitude coughed the ankles of their soul, and their reluction decapitated the epics of their lives. With the song, they sponged off their anguish. To behold their collective pain, to celebrate their gains, give lyrics to the tune of their lives, cheat the tyranny of time, and commune with the yet unborn to give meaning to an epoch lost in antiquity. Yet, Time strips the lyrics and scars the tune, leaving a dying song, dead, like the woman who died long ago, leaving the song to tell the story of their lives. Today, the tune roams the forlorn fields, like their souls looking for lyrics. To tell the tale of the servitude of the women of my land who plow their soul and soul. For a song to sing, the story of their lives, the song of the women of my land, left in the memory of the wind. Now, feeding the verses of poets, its echoes in fields, wrangling in rhythms and melodies, hollering in distant in places far afield from the forlorn field where the song of their life died the totting lift of my pen and the tweeting voice of my name try to sing the song of the women of my land in verses Far from the theater of Tov, where they left a song that now roams the land, stripped of lyrics like a scorned ghost. The tune turning the tenor of my verse is all that remains of the song of the women of my land. Who labored and died, leaving a dying song. The dirge of their lives. Like a sculptor, chipping away at bits of 